Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a super cool lagoon uh, that is uh, pretty awesome. I mean, we can jump off uh, this uh, sort of rock right into this water. This may or may not be a fish. These definitely legs. This a person in on further inspection that sort of talked yesterday about the fact that this might be some sort of water retaining wall, maybe the water level does go up. I, I really do think it does. The main reason is this is like a really steep beach. Like it definitely seems like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, these bushes are, do go pretty low, but like, I feel like, see how there's like a flat area up here? I feel like the water sort of at least might go there and might actually go like all the way up here to like this kind of level. And see, there's like, there's like a shout. There's like an, an area over here where you can see like these banked walls. I feel like the water level might actually like go here. There might be some a body of water here. These things might get connected. Might be some kind of river. Who knows what uh, what goes on? I just feel like uh, this is uh, that kind of place where the water level changes, which means we would think about it. Maybe you'd go swimming in this cave, and you got all this. Uh, you you know go take a swim, and the water level rises quickly, and then you're trapped underwater in this cave. And oh man, that's a real horror movie right there, right? God. If you're a person that has like claustrophobia or something like that, and you're oh man, imagine watching a movie like that, uh, filmed with like uh, like a first person point of view in 3D, and you're watching it with an Oculus Rift. Oh man, oh that's a cool idea. Like that, yeah, you feel so claustrophobic, like being in there, water level rising. Oh man, that'd be, that'd be that's a really cool idea. I mean, like I, you know, you you know you're not there in real life, but I think. Like, that would evoke all sorts of cool emotions in you, wouldn't it? Oh, man, that'd be a cool idea. That'd be... That'd be pretty awesome. I mean, those kind of those kind of experiences. Uh, for, I mean, like horror movies. I don't know. The horror meta is pretty stale. I'm saying that as as if I'm a fan of horror movies, which I'm not. But like, I don't know. I mean, what kind of other you know thrills are you gonna get? Horror video games, at least the video. Okay. Anyways, this is sort of good stuff you can do there. But uh, horror movies, I think there's like uh, there's there's a real thing you could do there with like a horror movie. Uh, you know, you, you could, you could do a lot with like 3D, you could, I mean, have it presented, uh, like, have it like for sale, is there some kind of Oculus store or something like that, but like, you know, 3D on a TV kind of sucks, right? 3D in some kind of big screen movie, 3D IMAX, there you go, that's pretty immersive, 3D Omnimax, there you go, now you're really talking, but, um, you know, to get good quality on such a big screen, you, you do need a lot, but, uh, 3D made for Oculus, that kind of experience, you know, you get really good sound, you get all that stuff. Oh man, that could be a cool experience. Anyways, I'm just, uh, I'm just thinking, if I had all the money and I could uh, invest in something like that, I think a project like that would be pretty, pretty cool. Or at least if it, you know, if it couldn't realize it cool, I think it would spawn at least some other cool projects. Maybe there is something like that that already exists. I mean, I always think of things, but I'm sure I'm not the only one who's ever thought of something like that. So, anyways. Um, other than that horror movie inspiration we got right there, where do I think we are? Argentina. I don't know. South America is just where I think we are. Look at the trees, right? These look like South American trees to me. This looks like a big South American cliff to me. Argentina. Why? Well, there's no GeoGuessr in Argentina. This is a still panorama. And, I mean, there's no Google Street View. At least there's very little of it in Argentina. And we've been in Argentina a bunch of time. Argentina seems like the new meta. So I'm going to go with Argentina right near this big lake that's up here. Let's make the guess and the answer well, I mean, I did mention that uh, there was a possibility that we were that I got the continent wrong yesterday, and that we were going to be thousands of kilometers away. Well, the answer is, as it turns out, we are thousands of kilometers away now, aren't we? The answer was, oh man, we were in Laos, not Luang Prabang, as we've been to before, but somewhere along the lines of Kong Lor Cave. Wow, that's pretty cool. There you go, and. Uh, that, yeah, that seems pretty awesome. Wow, there you go, Laos. I would not have guessed that. Well, I guess I didn't. The water did seem very similar to the water in Luang Prabang, and it is something that sort of crossed my mind, but for whatever reason, it crossed my mind and then immediately left, and I decided, no, we're not there, just because it didn't look like the area near Luang Prabang. But the water, I'll say, maybe maybe the water in Laos is... Uh, Similar in color, right? I mean, it's not ocean water, so, you know, it's a landlocked country, so you never know. Uh, there you go. 18, that's a lot, got zero points. Hopefully some of you guys did better.
All right, here we are in today's daily challenge. And check out this place. I mean, this is really what you got to see at this point. This big old waterfall. I mean, how cool is that? Big moss on uh, this stone, raging waters down below. I mean, I don't know if it probably just turns into some kind of a nice calm river uh, not too far down. But seriously, what a sight to behold. Wow, this place is super nice and is today's daily challenge, which means that it is up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think we are. Now, I'm going to keep uh, this speech a lot less long than I did for uh, the last one because, my God, I sort of babbled on that one now, didn't I? So, where in the world do you think we are? Put that down in the comment section below and tell me where do you think we can find this waterfall in tomorrow's video much like in the section you just saw I'm gonna make a guess as to where I think it is honestly I mean I'll make a guess but I don't think it's gonna be right uh, so yeah I'll make a guess I don't know if it's gonna be right or not but in the comment section of that video I am going to uh, write down whoever guessed closest so tell me where in the world do you think you can find an awesome waterfall like this one splish splash Dish dash. Okay, God, that did, didn't really make any sense. Okay, next. Okie dokie. Now let's get on with the show. The main section of today's episode is going to be a world challenge with three minutes on the clock. If you guys want to follow along with me, you can click down in the comment, uh, not the comment section, the description below. Find a link to this challenge and go do it yourself before you watch me, as you watch me, after you watch me, you know, whatever order you choose to do it. Or you can obviously not do it at all, or you can do it and then not watch me, which, you know, plenty of plenty of choices there. So let's play. And of course, we're going to be starting a new one because uh, we want five locations, not just four, resuming after uh, that daily challenge. So now, where are we? Hard to tell Australia is the answer. We got uh, stickies on the side of the road. We can see them right over here. The earth is kind of red. I was thinking Australia, mainly because of the white painted lines on the road. We know Australia does have those. If I'm going to pick a location, I'm going to say uh, western, uh, probably in from Perth towards southern, but a little bit off the coast. I mean, honestly, that's just like... That's just like some random guesses I'm making there. Drowsy drivers die. Wow, okay. Well, you know, they're, they're not wrong. I don't give them that much. Uh, they are, they're, they're not wrong. Drowsy, diver, drowsy drivers do die. Uh, there you go. You can hire this truck. You know the phone number. You can uh, hire it if you'd like. I'm sure they'd be grateful if you had a legitimate job for them. Uh, but uh, let's go check out what what else do we see here? Peterborough, Adelaide, Adelaide. Where 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 where's Adelaide again? Adelaide is is Adelaide like over here in Victoria for whatever reason? That's sort of what's coming to mind. No, is Adelaide up here? No, is Adelaide somewhere like up up there? Townsville. Townsville, isn't that, isn't that, is, isn't Townsville something, is, is, is Townsville a, a place like in some kind of TV show that I should be familiar with, the, the city of Townsville, I don't know, some, some, some weird stuff like that is, is coming to mind, but I honestly don't really know, um, wow. All right, I, I don't really know where we are, I guess, which is a little bit uh, of a shame here. Is, no, South Holland. South Holland, that's another place. That's another name of a place I feel like I should know. South Holland. Um, okay. Well, you know, I'm going to guess Queensland, I guess. I mean, I don't really want to, but it, it is going to happen. We're going to go right there, right underneath the queue. Townsville, is that like the Powerpuff Girls? Jesus, if it is, then... You know, there you go. That's pretty wild that I sort of pulled that out. But uh, I guess, you know, Powerpuff Girls was a popular TV show. South Australia? Okay. Well, boom. Make the guess. And, yes, uh, we have um, 
Oh, Adelaide. Oh, okay. Well, we found it. I don't know why. Why didn't I notice it? And why didn't I know it was there? Well, you know, all good questions, I guess. But uh, voila, 3,200 points. Okay, well, next location. I guess all in all, there wasn't a bad guess, but really it should have been, uh, a, well, it should have been a lot better. I should have found Adelaide much quicker than that. Lace potato chips. We are in North America, although we probably could have seen that by the pictures. It doesn't really look too blurry, but I'm going to just go ahead and make the guess that we are probably in America. I mean, I don't really know. I'm not really familiar with this gas station uh, here, but it's, it seems like it's like a rural one. So it could be like it's just, it, it just it's all maybe a mom and pop shop for uh, kids and tots. I mean, probably not that last thing, but uh, there you go. Boys and Girls Club. Okay, well, there you go. Um, park. Lots of fun stuff to do. All right, can we find a flag? Laundromat. Okay, we can do our laundry there. Juan's Laundromat. Preacher. Juan the Baptist owner. Proprietor. Okay. So we, we're seeing some interesting things. I mean... I'm going to say we're in America here, uh, the U.S. of A, uh, to be, you know, a little bit more obvious as to why, what I'm meaning when I say America, although we could also be in Canada, that's for sure, uh, but other than those two places, I can't imagine we were anywhere else, I, I mean, we're not in Mexico, we can pretty much guarantee you that, and I can almost guarantee you. I mean, yeah, okay, we're in the U.S. You don't get any trees like this in Canada. I mean, you got some, definitely, but, you know, maybe not growing naturally on the side of the road. Willie Ladin Ladnier. Okay, that's interesting. What shape is that? It's the shape of, uh, it's the shape of California? Uh, that's a good question. Let's go give it a look. No, it's not the shape of California. Um, what is that the shape of? Is that, is, is this red thing the shape of anything? No, it's some cut California. What the hell kind of guess was that? Ugh, that's disgusting. I just feel bad for having said that. Uh, Illinois? Really? No, can't be Illinois. But it looks like Illinois. But it's not. Okay, so it's not the shape of anything. Uh, well, I mean, I'm guessing we're in, uh, Georgia? Well, let's go. Let's go with Georgia then. All right, Georgia, sort of like uh, Albany. Make the guess. The answer uh, is actually Mississippi. Does that look like Mississippi? Mississippi and Illinois look similar. Okay, they do. Um, all right. I guess I didn't see this little nubbin down there, but there was some sort of object that might have been hiding it. Uh, so yeah. Okay, we were in. Oh my God, Biloxi. It's a cool name for a place. We were in a place called. Gautier? I, I, I don't know. Gothier? Who knows? Uh, whatever it decides to be called, we are uh, right down there between Ocean Springs and Moss Point. <laughs> Fantastic. Mississippi. Wow, very, very cool. 3652. It's not bad, but not the right state. Definitely Australia this time. Not Southern, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm gonna go western on this one, and I mean honestly, other than other than that, there's not much more I can do with a guess like this. Really, thing is, we're not really gonna see any signs. This is so, so out of there that uh, that you know all we get to see is this a, a, a view that look very similar to this most of the way through. I mean, we're gonna be getting closer and closer and closer to that tree line down there, so. At least uh, something's going to change. Uh, so, you know, there you go. Big trees going past us now. Let's see. I mean, will will we will we get to a view that looks drastically different? Drastically, definitely not. But at least it looks, I mean, somewhat different now. We're surrounded by more trees than we were before. And, well, you know, we, get, we had this. Whatever this was. It's like a face. All right, well, there you go. Don't enter my land or else I'm going to send my cobras after you. The cobras in Australia? I wouldn't really think so. Cobras. I mean, other snakes for sure. Cobras, I don't know. 
Carpers feel like something a lot more of a... I don't know, where do Cobras actually live? Probably the Middle East, to be honest. I mean, you know, I don't really know if Cobras actually live in Egypt. I mean, they probably do. Probably also found in, like, Morocco and all those North African countries as well. But maybe they don't. India... Definitely, yeah. Okay, India for sure. Okay, there you go. That's where cobras live. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go with uh, western. We're gonna go like right down there. Make the guess. The answer is Queensland. Well, that always happens. So, twelve seventeen. Okay, fine. Ooh, snow. Okay, I like this. It's a snowy wonderland here. We had an interesting colored rock. I mean. You know, if I lived here, I'd drive all the way to this rock just to see it. It might be the most interesting sight for a few miles. I'm, of course, kidding it and being purposefully mean to this place, uh, which is, of course, beautiful Finland. We don't know about that. I'm actually just making a guess. Before we get to this sign, where I get to then look at it and uh, make maybe a little bit more of an educated guess, although, God, who knows really at this point. Um, we're in Saint something. Which is interesting. I don't know if I really expected that. Saint Blabberg's Strap Skit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't actually identify the language on that one, I'm afraid. I'm going to say it's not Norwegian, but again, if that's Finnish or Swedish, that's uh, something that I can't tell. And I mean, it could also be Norwegian. I, I don't actually know. So that's a little bit of a sad thing right there. Let's see if we can find some mother writing that I can maybe uh, make an educated guess on. Uh, let's see. Well, we've got that. Let's see. Th does this give us any clues? Um, Swedish? The A with the circle on top of it I think is a Swedish thing, right? And it's just an O. That correct? I think it might be. So I'm gonna go with Sweden on this one. Uh, I think the A with a circle on top of it is one of the, is a is a Swedish thing. Again, I'm not sure, but we're gonna we're gonna call it so. All right, where are we? Well, we are definitely you know north of Stockholm, I would think, but probably not too north. Surprisingly, not too north. Probably like uh, you know just in here somewhere. And I'm gonna go with. Uh, Sure, like around like Ludvika. Sure. I mean, there you go. There's no big mountains. There's no crazy stuff. It's just snowing. And I guess uh, unlike when it's taking the pictures in Canada or the U.S., maybe they've decided to actually go out during more winterish times and take pictures uh, for a street view, which is pretty darn cool. Let's make the guess. And the answer was Sweden, but far more north than I thought. Uh, we found ourselves in, well, near... V. Okay. Well, 3449. And the next location, we find ourselves right back in the good old US of A. In fact, I'm going to say that this uh, is Texas, uh, somewhere like close to Mexico. So, where are we actually? Willard. Okay. It's a half mile to Willard. Davis Auto Group. Hmm. Where's Willard? Well, there's a Howard Johnson Inn in 10 miles, which is okay. A lot of signs here for whatever reason. Um, where Utah gets engaged. Three wedding rings. Jesus. Oh, fuck me. Come on, really? I mean, the jokes just write themselves. I mean, I know they're for the most part not true, but, you know. You know. Oh, shit, man. Come on. That's just too funny, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't this funny? Will everyone appreciate this as a joke? I hope so. Because, I mean, shit. Come on. Really? It, it's... All right, well... This is very funny. 
I, I appreciate this sign's sense of humor. I hope it's a joke. It's probably not. It's probably unintentional, to be honest. But, you know, that's fantastic. That's really good. I like that a lot. That's funny. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, well, I thought, it said, I thought it says butt crack tractor, but it, it doesn't. So, there you go. Oh, man, too good. Utah. We're in Utah. Very cool. Utah is a beautiful place. I will give it that. Um, so, where in the world, uh, well, where in Utah are we? Uh, close to, like, uh, close to Nevada? So, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, for a moment, I was sort of worried that didn't make any sense, but, uh, yeah, okay. We're, we're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna go with close to Nevada on this one. Uh, you know, not too close to Nevada. Actually, we're gonna go pretty close to Arizona. Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm starting to think, yeah, well, I know we're going to go close to Nevada. Uh, like, just, just over here. Sure, why not? Let's make the guess. Wow, okay, we were sh very close to Salt Lake City. Um, we were very near Salt Lake itself. Okay. Well, 46.32. Wow, that is pretty good, I must say. 117 kilometers. Let's view the summary on this one. So... Where were we in the world? Oh, I still find that funny. Um, we were in Southern Australia. We were in Queensland. We were in Sweden. We were in uh, Georgia. We, no, we were in Mississippi, not Georgia. We were in Utah, very close to Salt Lake City. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one.